One day after nearly five years of marriage, after we had sold our house, my wife said she needed some space. So we got her an apartment and I went to stay at my dad's house. Not my choice. Her dad asked me to meet him at McDonald's so we could talk. He said to me, you need to see what she's doing when you are not around. I said what? You need to see what she's doing when you are not around. It all went totally right over my head. Then on a Friday night, I went to pick up my little girl and we went to a high school football game. She always had her pom-poms and she loved the bands at halftime. She was four years old. She fell asleep at halftime so we left the game. As it turned out, we were already driving near my wife's apartment and it was about time for her to go to work. She worked as a police dispatcher. I parked so that I could see the stairwell of her apartment. Soon I saw two people come out of her apartment. One was my wife and the other was a man. My heart stopped. I could not believe what I was seeing. They were walking to her van. My daughter was still sleeping. I started my car and moved it to the back edge of the apartment building so I could see her van. Then I saw them come into view and go to the other side of her van, the driver's side. I made sure my daughter was still sleeping and I got out to see who my wife was with. I got to the back of the van and saw them kissing. I walked to my car saying, my marriage is over, my marriage is over. I heard the man. His name turned out to be Mark. He yelled out, it's not what you think. I started my car and began to pull out. About the same time I got to my car, my wife left in her van to go to work. Mark blocked my way out and pleaded with me to stop and hear him out. I don't know what possessed me other than I think that the Holy Spirit took a part in the conversation at that moment because I was not planning to talk to this guy. I pulled over I checked to make sure my daughter is still sleeping and I got out of my car with the windows down. Mark again said, it's not what you think. And I began questioning him as if I was a lawyer and I don't know how to question somebody. I asked him leading questions and began to get him to open up and tell me things. At one point I said look you see that face I was pointing to my daughter I said that's my face he started crying. I said, Mark why are you crying? He said, this is hard. I said it seems that you have some guilty feelings about this. He said, yeah I don't know what to say. I said Mark have you spent time with my daughter? He said, oh yeah I have she's so sweet. I asked him in what way? He said that they had gone to state fair of Texas together. I said oh so you spent some time with my family he cried more and at one point we were talking and the car drove by that caught both of our attention. It was a co-worker from my wife's work, checking on us. I told Mark that in a matter of time, my wife would come here. He said, he didn't think she would. As we talked further, at one point, Mark dropped to his knees and said, why don't you just beat me up, or kick me in the face? He was crying so hard. I told him that I am not that kind of guy. Instead I asked him to answer me this question. Did you rape my wife? He said, no. Then she leads you to her bed? He said, yes. Just so I'm clear, you had sex with my wife. He cried so hard he was still on his knees. He was very distraught. I asked him do you want forgiveness? Do you want me to pray with you and ask God's forgiveness? I ended up taking his hands kneeling down with him and was praying with him asking God's forgiveness and the blessings on his future life. About that time, my wife pulled up in the van screaming and cussing like a sailor that we have no business talking to each other. Then, as quick as she showed up, she left to go back to work. Mark was shocked that she actually came back and he knew that I was right. He said, you are so much better person than she is. I asked him to not see her anymore and he agreed however, he was still acting as if he was guilty so I said Mark there's something else bothering you he cries. He says how do you know this stuff? I said, what is it cause the truth will set you free he said, man I am married I told him that he should try to fix his marriage if he can and never see my wife again which he did. It was really difficult for him but we finally parted after agreeing that he would never see my wife again. In the coming days I was heartbroken I could not eat or sleep my life was in shambles my heart was broken it also made me realize that once I told my daughter that I knew about Mark she started crying this is daddy mommy told me never to tell you about Mark never to tell you about Mark no she was only four years old and I had I had her with me for the next couple of days and she she had she did not wet the bed.
I'll tell you a little backstory on that one. Now a month earlier, she started wetting the bed. She had been potty trained. Of course, she's four years old. We went to the doctor and the doctor ordered her some tests for her physical. See if there's any physical reason why she was wetting the bed. So she had to getting a machine like an MRI or something. And she had to actually pee while she's on the machine so they could see her muscles and everything in action. She wanted me there and she cried. She would, this was humiliating for her. Later. The doctor had my wife and I into the office for the results. He said, physically there is nothing wrong with her your daughter he looked at both of us. He asked, is there something going on at home that is upsetting her? I said no, but my wife also said no. This was a couple of months before we sold our house. I was so upset, I was not eating or sleeping for the last couple of days I decided I would go see my doctor who also is our daughter's doctor and I saw him and he saw how frail I was and how upset I was. I was telling him about that my daughter was having to hold a secret that my wife was cheating on me and he said yes that was probably the reason. By this time, she already had stopped wetting the bed. My doctor said, you have got to eat you got to sleep if you don't get yourself under control I might have to put you in the hospital for malnutrition. I thought, wow I'm really letting this get me. I decided to get a meeting with my wife so that we could work things out so I met her in person and I was crying and I was upset and she was not. She was not showing any emotion, just normal. I said we need to work things out, we need to go get counseling. She told me, quit crying and act like a man. You know what you need to do, so go and do it. She wanted me to file for divorce and I thought about it for a while and decided that's what I have to do for my own type of closure. I have to do this because hanging trying to hang on to the marriage when she doesn't care. After that, I went out and found a lawyer and I filed for a divorce, thank you.